Hello and welcome to this follow along with me tapping session. My name is Jackie McDonald. I'm the founder of something called EFT Tapping School. You may have never heard of it before, but it is an incredible healing modality that is literally at your fingertips uh, that is designed to help you feel better faster. Tapping blends a mixture of acupuncture points, uh, Eastern acupuncture with Western psychology to help you process big emotions, help you regulate your nervous system. And as I always say, feel better faster. So it is kind of like a game of Simon Says. Today, we're going to tap on certain points on the face and body. You're going to repeat some statements after me, and we're going to bring that stress level down. So let's do it. Let's dive in. Go ahead, and as long as you're not driving and you're in a safe place to do so, I invite you to close your eyes. Start by taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. You can roll your shoulders up and back, opening up your heart and chest. As you breathe in, through the nose, and out through the mouth. Just slowing down today, giving yourself a moment to pause and just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just set aside whatever you were doing before this and anything you'll go to after this, creating a space just for you. So you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And with your eyes closed, I want you to tune in and just ask yourself, where are you holding on to stress in your body? you're feeling stressed right now, where is it in your body? You can just take a guess. Where do you hold on to stress in your body? You can just take note of it or write it down. So maybe it's in your head or your chest or your gut or your back, your neck. And close your eyes again. How high on a scale of zero to 10, how high is that stress right now? So zero meaning it's not high at all. 10 meaning it's really high. What number would you give your level of stress? And if you can't pick a number, just guess. You can say low, medium, high, or just guess a number. And then I want you to think about the statement, I'm stressed because. And why are you stressed right now? And just write down or think about all the reasons that you're stressed. All right. So maybe you're stressed because there's so much to do in so little time, or you're stressed about finances or a relationship or work or your health, whatever it is, write it all down. And then we're going to begin at tapping. So the first point in tapping is on the side of the hand. It's called the karate chop point. Doesn't matter which hand you use. It can be right or left. You'll also see some people do this. I'm going to tap on the side of the hand and you're going to repeat after me. I say, even though I'm really stressed right now, And I can feel that I'm holding on to this stress in my body. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I've been feeling really stressed. I can feel it in my body. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm really stressed right now. And I can feel all this stress in my body. I love and accept myself anyway. Okay, let's go to the top of the head and say, I've been feeling really stressed. And you're gonna tap right where your eyebrows begin. I've been holding on to a lot of stress. Then we're gonna tap right at the side of the eye. All the stress I've been holding on to. Tapping underneath the eye. I can feel it in my 
and fill in where you feel in your body. You can feel it in my chest, in my head, my stomach. Tapping underneath the nose. The stress about, and share whatever it's about, the stress about work, or about my relationship, or about my health, about money. Tapping underneath the mouth. I'd like to start letting it go. And tapping where the collarbone points are. The stress about fill in the blank, money, my relationship, work, all of the above. Tapping underneath the arms. I'm ready to start releasing it. I'm going to tap right underneath the chest. All this stress in my body. And you're going to tap your wrists together. This stress about fill in the blank. Go back to the top of the head. I'm ready to start letting it go. Eyebrow point. I'm ready to start feeling better. Good job. You can stop, stop, stop tapping, close your eyes, take a deep breath. Tune back into your body and what number would you give your stress now? What number on a scale of zero to 10? Zero meaning there's no stress at all, 10 meaning it's super high. What number would you give it now? Has it moved? Is it still in a certain area or has it moved anywhere else or does it feel a little lighter? And then just notice, did anything really stand out in that round? Was there any specific thing that's really playing in your head right now? Like, oh, that conversation I had or, oh, my boss or, oh, I'm really worried about my child or what if this happens? What if that happens? So if there's anything specific coming up, the secret to success in tapping is in the specifics. So right now you just experienced this very global general tapping session, but if you really want to break through that, getting really specific in your wording is going to help that number come down. So you can tap on your own. You can just tap on the points and just be like, I'm so worried about and fill in the blank. I'm so worried about my child, or I'm so worried about work, or I'm so angry, whatever it is you're feeling. Tapping is the one space that you get to be completely honest. You're just going to tap on these points in the face and body and just say it. You did no holding back, no pretending. You're just going to be like, you know what? I'm really angry or I'm really mad or I'm really sad or I'm really stressed or I hate it when let yourself get it all out with the tapping. Okay. So the first round of tapping we call venting stage. It's the opportunity to just do, do just that. Express how you feel. The second stage of tapping is the letting go stage. And this is about kind of being in between where you were before and where you want to go. So where you want to go is obviously feeling more peaceful, more at ease, more relaxed, um, more whatever it is, not stressed, right? And so the first round vents, the second round is like being in between where you were and where you want to go. So we're going to tap again right on the side of the hand. You're doing a great job. And say, even though I'm still feeling stressed. And I don't know if I can let it go. I'm open to the possibility. Of releasing this a little today. Even though I've been holding on to this for a while. I love and accept myself anyway. And maybe it's time for me to start letting this go. Even though I've been stressed for a while, I am open to letting it go right now. I'm open to feeling better. 
top of the head. And I don't know if it can be that easy. Eyebrow point. There's all these things I have to figure out. Side of the eye, there's all these burdens that I've been carrying. Underneath the eye, it feels like it's all on me. Underneath the nose, and maybe it is. Underneath the mouth, but for right now. Collarbone point. <laughs> I'm going to give myself permission to release this. Underneath the arms, release the burden I've been carrying. Underneath the chest, release the fear I've been holding on to. Wrist point, I give myself permission to release any worry. Top of the head, I give myself permission to release any doubt. Eyebrow point, any uncertainty or fear. Side of the eye, it's time to start letting this go. Good job. And stop tapping. Take a breath, close your eyes, tune back in. How are you feeling now on a scale of zero to 10? Where are you feeling it in your body? And what's coming up for you now? So there's no right or wrong answer in tapping. Maybe your number went down, maybe your number went up. Maybe you've had some tears, maybe you've had some yawns. Maybe you're having some realizations. Maybe you're like, this isn't working at all. There's no right or wrong answer in tapping. But this is just a reflective practice for you to communicate with your body. And your body is connected to your subconscious mind. And to really release anything in your unconscious that is holding you back that um, maybe you don't even know is there. And so sometimes when we tap, we'll have moments where we have like a certain memory play out or a certain thing come to mind. This is because your nervous system is relaxing and little pieces of the puzzle will start to come forward. So if you're experiencing anything like that, or you're feeling just maybe a little bit better or just neutral, uh, this is all signs your nervous system is starting to go into a state of rest repose. And this is where you can heal. This is where you can have a shift in mindset. This is where you can be open to new possibility. And this is where peace is possible. So we're going to do one more round together and tap on the side of the hand and say, even though I've been really stressed, I'm choosing to let it go and to be a little kinder to myself today. Even though I've been kind of hard on myself. I've had all this pressure and stress on me. I love and accept myself anyway. And it's time for me to let it go. Even though there's a part of me that doesn't want to let it go. That's okay. I love and accept myself anyway. And when I'm ready, I can release this. Let's go to the top of the head. When I'm ready, I will release this. Eyebrow point. Release this stress from my body. Side of the eye, release this stress from my life. Underneath the eye, but for right now, 
underneath the nose, I choose to be kinder to myself. Underneath the nose, I choose to let my body relax. Collarbone point, I choose to remember that I'm safe right here, right now. Tapping underneath the arms, I choose to release this stress. Underneath the chest, when the time is right for me. Wrist point, and today I choose to be softer. Top of the head today, I choose to be kinder. Eyebrow point, and a little easier on myself. Side of the eye than I have been before. Good job. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, check in with your body now. So what number would you give that stress that you were feeling before on a scale of zero to 10? Where do you feel it in your body now? And what do you feel in your body now? No matter what number you're at or no matter where you are, you have the power to bring in a sensation and a feeling into your body right here, right now, today. So I want you to think of the word peace with your eyes closed. Think of the word peace. Imagine the word peace out in front of you on a blank screen. And when you think of the word peace, what comes to mind? Maybe you see a peace sign. Maybe you see a certain place in nature. Maybe you see a certain spot in your home. Maybe you see a certain person. When you see that word peace, what comes to mind? And just go there in your mind right now. Go to the place or the person or the space that brings you peace. And allow yourself to feel it in every cell of your being. Allow this sensation to wash over you. As peace integrates into every single cell. Just feel your shoulders relax. Be feeling your breath just slow down and get a little bit easier. As the sensation of peace starts to wash over your body, helping you feel calm and centered now. And if peace had a color or a light, what color would it be? Just allow it to just travel over your entire body now. Relaxing your entire body, feeling every single cell light up with this new sensation, this new color of peace. Peace is present in my body. Peace is present in my body now. Good job. And then whenever you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes, come back into the room. Feeling really proud of yourself today for taking a risk and pressing play and doing this session. Or taking the time to just be with yourself and check in on how you're doing. You can come back to this over and over again as much as you need. And if you enjoyed it, you can follow me. I have more of these on YouTube, Tapping with Jackie. And uh, you can reach out to me at any time, JackieMcDonald.ca. I'm here for you. Bye for now.